Now let us talk about the inspection method. Now if you are given a differential equation like this, m dx plus n dy is equal to 0. And just by seeing this differential m dx plus n dy is equal to 0, if you can arrange this in order to make it a single derivative, just like suppose if I write derivative of log xy or you can say differential of log xy will be equal to, first I will take the derivative of log which will be 1 upon xy, then take the derivative of xy now. So we will use multiplication rule that is they are multiplied x and y are multiplied it will become x dy plus y dx. What I have done is first I have take the derivative of y which is dy then I have taken the derivative of x that is dx okay by multiplication rule. Now if you are given a differential like this on the left hand side you can convert it to this okay which can be directly integrated to get you log of xy. Is it fine? That means you have to rearrange the term on the left hand side in order to combine them and convert them into a single differential. You can see this. It is in the form of m dx plus n, n dy. You can see here. Your value of m, m is what? y upon xy. And value of n is what? x upon xy. That means you have to rearrange the term in order to combine them and convert them into a single derivative like this. Okay. You have to go in a reverse process. You will be given in this form. You will have to convert into this form. Okay. You will have to go in reverse. Now what about differential of log of x upon y? It will be first take a derivative of log. It will be 1 upon x upon y. Then derivative of x upon y will be y dx minus x dy. Then denominator is square. That is square of y which is y square. Okay. This, this y and this y will get cancelled. So you will get y dx minus x dy upon x y. Okay. Now what about the derivative of log of y upon x? It will be x by y into x dy minus y dx upon x square. This x and this x will get cancelled. You will get x dy minus y dx upon x y which is minus of derivative of log of x upon y. You can see here. You can compare that. It will be minus sign here. So they are just negative of each other. Okay. Now let us see more differential. Let us see the derivative of tan inverse x upon y. It will be 1 upon 1 plus x square by y square. Now derivative of x by y will be y dx minus x dy by y square. Okay. Just I am applying u by v rule. Okay. So after simplification you will get y square plus x square. y square will get at the numerator. So you will get y square upon x square plus y square y dx minus x dy upon y square. This y square and this y square will get cancelled. You will get y dx minus x dy upon x square plus y square. This is the derivative of tan inverse x by y. Now derivative of tan inverse y by x will be it will be 1 upon 1 plus y square by x square x dy minus y dx upon x square. I am applying u y v rule. Okay. First, I have taken a derivative of tan inverse, which is 1, 1 upon 1 plus y square by x square. Then I have taken a derivative of y by x, okay, by u by v rule. So after simplification, you will get x dy minus y dx upon x square plus y square. This x square and this x square will get cancelled, okay. Next, let us see more. Now derivative of log of x square plus y square will be First, I will take the derivative of log, which is 1 upon x square plus y square. Then take the derivative of this, this function, x square plus y square. You will get 2x dx plus then y square 2y dy. Take 2 common from these two terms. You will get x dx plus y dy upon x square plus y square. Okay. Next, if you take the derivative of e to the power x divided by y, you will get you can see here you have two function e to the power x and y is this y is the second function and they are in u by v form so let us take a derivative first let us take a derivative of e to the power x which is e to the power x dx then minus e to the power x then derivative of y which is dy upon y square that is denominator square which is y square okay so this is the derivative 
Now the derivative of e to the power y upon x in the same way we will go x e to the power y dy. Okay, first time taking derivative of e to the power y, then e to the power y dx. Okay, then we, I have taken a derivative of x that is dx upon denominator square that is x square. Let us see more. Then derivative of x square upon y will be again apply u by v rule that is y into derivative of x square. That is 2x dx minus then derivative of y. That is dy. That is x square into dy. Okay, upon the denominator square. That is y square. Okay. Similarly, derivative of y square upon x. You will get first. I will take the derivative of y square. That is x into 2y dy minus now derivative of x. That is dx. Then minus y square into dx upon Denominator square that is x square. Okay. Now what about the derivative of x square upon y square? So we have two function x square and y square. In denominator we have y square. Okay. So we will apply the same rule u by v rule. Okay. So first take a derivative of x square. So y square into derivative of x square is 2x dx. So into 2x dx minus then derivative of y square that is 2y dy. So x square into 2y dy upon denominator square that is y to the power 4. Okay, denominator square. Next we have derivative of y square upon x square. We will go by same method that is first derivative of y square that is x square into 2y dy minus y square into 2x dx upon denominator square that is x to the power 4. At present you might be feeling that this is very simple as I am directly taking the differentiation of these terms. But this is not that much trivial. Why? Because you have to proceed in the reverse manner. That is you have to arrange given term. You will, you will be given the term like this in this manner. Okay. You will have to arrange them into a single derivative. Okay. You will have to go in a reverse order. That is just the entire reverse process you need to follow. Let me show you by an example. Suppose we have to solve this differential equation. Now you will have to rearrange the terms on the left hand side in order to make it to a differential. So let us first combine these two terms that is y and x. So it will become y dx that is y into dx plus x dy that is x into dy. Now let us combine these two terms cos and sine term. So it will become plus cos y dx minus x sine y into dy minus x sine y into dy. Now write the remaining term that is plus dx upon 2 root x and here we have minus dy is equal to 0. Now if you see this term, these terms can be written as a derivative of xy, okay? Because if you take the derivative of xy, you will get the same result this one, okay? So we are going in a reverse process, okay? By product rule, you will get the same result this one. Similarly, if you combine this, these terms, you will get the derivative of x cos y. Okay, if you differentiate by product rule, you will get the same term. Okay, this term plus dx upon 2 root x. Okay, minus dy is equal to 0. Now we know that in order to get the solution, we will have to integrate on both the side. So if you integrate dxy, you will get xy. Okay, because derivative and integration are reciprocal to each other. So this derivative and integral will get cancelled. You will get xy only. Okay, plus Integration of this term will be x cos y and the integration of 1 by 2 root x will be plus root x. Okay. And the integration of dy is minus y is equals to constant. Okay. Because integration of 0 is constant. Why? Because differentiation of constant is 0. Therefore, the integration of 0 will be constant because integration is the opposite of differentiation. Okay. So this is the solution of the given differential equation.